Hey guys, it's Felicia, your sweatpants diva here. So, um, I have been intending to come back, like, actually I intended to come back last month, but, um, I don't know, life's just been crazy, to say the least. Um, but my goal is to start back recording videos this month, um, here in September. Um, I was actually just writing a blog post for my webpage and I thought, you know what, you keep waiting for the chance to do a welcome back to YouTube video, so just go ahead and do it. Like, honestly guys, I really, I'm not, yeah, I don't really care about the quality of this video, I just wanted to get it out so that I didn't just pop back up and like, start showing like workouts and um meal plans and it's kind of like okay well what happened like catch us up i do feel that i for those of you that have been following my journey i do feel that i at least owe you that amount so um to say the least i took a huge huge break um from youtube from um my goal like my one year goal um on my fitness journey and I'll tell you like what kind of initiated it and then we'll go from there. This may be a long video. I'm not sure. I'm just going to talk to you guys and catch you up and let you know what's been going on. So um, if it if it shows that it's like a longer video and you don't want to watch it, then it's okay. Like we're cool. I'll post shorter videos um, here soon. Anyway, so um, what happened was is like I was working out. I was eating right. And I started back gaining weight and it was just extremely frustrating like I had no idea you know what was going on I wasn't feeling like you know I wasn't f I was feeling better because I was like working out and lifting and doing crossfit but I was still not feeling good if that makes any sense so um I scheduled an appointment with uh, a hormone specialist and kind of found out like some crazy things but the most disturbing thing for me was um to find out that I have a thyroid issue which I kind of knew before but everyone would always say like oh you're borderline oh you know it's not a big deal I tried um armothyroid medication before and it kind of like helped in the past but I wasn't really sure because I was maintaining my weight and not really losing weight so I got off of it, but finally I was like, you know what, I need to find out what's going on. Like, this is ridiculous. You know, I turned 33 um, on April 30th, and that kind of, like, triggered everything. I was like, let me find out what's going on with my body. So um, I had a blood work done on the 25th, April 25th, and I found out that um, basically, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm reading from this paper. Uh, from my lab work, <clears throat> I had I was deficient in B vitamins and ferritin, and also it wasn't just that my body wasn't like producing TSH, but it was more so that my T3 was not converting to T4, and that has a a lot to do with like metabolism, um, and all of that, and even like my DHEA which is a metabolism um hormone like it <clears throat> it's actually a male dominant hormone but it it does help your body to um burn fat even like those numbers were all um i was vitamin d i had a vitamin d deficiency my iron levels were low like i was just jacked up metabolically like my blood work was it was a mess um the good things were like my cholesterol was fine which i would like to say I can actually post like numbers and stuff in a later blog post because many people do kind of bash the paleo diet saying that it throws your um, cholesterol off and that's not the case like actually my levels were beautiful and I have no problem in showing and sharing my blood work because or my numbers or my values I work in healthcare and if it can benefit someone else like so be it I don't care um but yeah, those were the most important things to me. And then even like um, for my vitamin D numbers to be as long as they, as low as they were, that was a shocker because, you know, I'm a girl. I love being outside. Like it, it was just, it was a huge shocker. And then the whole thyroid thing, 
just for so many years being told that I was borderline, like not realizing how how much of an impact it was making because many physicians, they only check your TSH. But this practitioner, she actually um, checked my T3 and my T4 and had that been done before, then there's a possibility. I may have known that the T3 wasn't converting, but no one's ever told me that before. So um, long story short, I take like a gazillion um supplements not a gazillion but I can actually sh I'll tag a picture like towards the end of this video and I'll show you guys everything that I take now um and I feel better I can definitely say that now as far as like <clears throat> the weight loss or anything I'll be honest in saying that I had a big old pity party I really did like I was just it, I mean if you can imagine like it's kind of overwhelming to realize that you're doing everything that you know how to do and your body's just not responding like and then I was even going into adrenal fatigue it was it was just a mess so with everything else that was going on as far as like trying to launch my website trying to launch my life coaching business trying to do everything else I was like you know what forget it like right now I can't really focus on <clears throat> like workouts and um meal prep and you know, my daughter was out for the summer out of school and it was just too much. And like, that's just what life, that's what life, life is all about, which is part of the reason too why I wanted to come back um, to YouTube because before my, my channel was just based on like workouts and um, workouts and meal prep and like meals and stuff. But I'm going to take this in a <clears throat> totally different direction, kind of the same, but um Truth be told, like when you're trying to lose weight or whether you're trying to transform your body or become more fit, it's never just about workouts and, um, you know, eating right. Like there are so many other things that play a, play a factor. Um, I mean, there's life. Like there's parenthood, there's travel and vacation, and there's jobs and, you know, work and for those of you that have your own businesses, like trying to, you know, maintain that. And for those of you that have families or whatever, like it's never, unless you're like on like some show like The Biggest Loser where you're there and your job is to lose weight or to get fit. Um, but if you're out here in real life, like there are so many other factors that take, you know, take place. So I realized that for me, I would like to come back to YouTube, but as I said in my first um, video, this is, is real. Like, this is a real life experience. And I want to share with everyone, you know, how I got there. So when I finally do reach my goal, which I still am hopeful that I will, um, that people will see like, okay, you know, she had this and she had that and, you know, but she still did it. Like, <laughs> it's not a cakewalk. And I don't ever want, you know, anyone else to think like oh you know it, it was simple or I mean sometimes like you go through things and then you kind of beat yourself up because you set a goal and you know things happen but you have to realize that sometimes you just have to get back on track like pick up from wherever you started off from or from where where you are and just go from there so <clears throat> with that being said my channel will now consist of things related to parenting it will um consist of of work like things about work, um, travel, um, just everything I go through pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and I will also be blogging as well. So I'll have blogging like with the video camera and I'll also be blogging. So, And I will do my best to make sure that they coordinate so that you can also read about um, the things that I'm recording. But anyways, I just looked up and I think this video is about almost 10 minutes now. And I don't want to talk your heads off. So anyways, yeah, I'll be back. Um, back to YouTube. I'm still working full time as a physical therapist for um, a home health company. And I also run my own life coaching business. Um, I'll include my website in this video. And at some point um, this week, I'll have a consistent schedule for you guys so you can know when to expect videos, when to expect new blog posts, and before the month is out, I th 
yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share my blood work and my results and everything. Oh, and one thing I forgot to talk about, too, was cortisol. And I'm actually going to do a whole blog post on that. Because what we found was that my cortisol levels were off the charts. Like, for instance, um, there's like a little graph here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But what was happening was that, um, like, in the mornings... My cortisol levels were really high, which, you know, that's a good thing because when you wake up in the mornings, like for me, I wake up at four, like you should have energy and, you know, um, things to get through the day. But what was happening was that around lunchtime, I was dropping. And then again, like in the evening, around 5 p.m., I was really dropping, which explained why, you know, when I would get off from work, like around six o'clock, if I sat down, I would crash, like. You know, I would have every intention on, like, getting a second workout in or, you know, doing something productive. And I would just fall asleep. Like, I had no idea what was going on, but it was because my cortisol levels were way off. And then also the other thing that was happening was that in the mornings, like, around 1 or 2 o'clock, I was spiking up again. Like, this huge amount of um, energy. Like, with, with cortisol levels, which is something I'll talk about more in my blog post. Um, it's hard to tell the difference, like when the levels are high, when the range is high, if it is anxiety or just energy. Um, for me, I think that it may have been a combination of both because I'm one of those people, like if I have a ton of things to do the next day, it is so hard for me to sleep that night. Like I, I'll fall asleep because I'm tired, but then at like one in the morning, I'm like, oh my gosh, I should go ahead and get up now because I've got to do... A, B, C, and D. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys more about how I've made changes with that as well. Um, and I'm not perfect. I am so far from perfect. Like, oh my gosh. I'm telling you guys, I think this is going to be pretty good for the both of us. Because when I say I'm just going to start blogging and video and everything, it, that's really what it's going to be. And um, pure honesty, I just want to be authentic. Because when I look back at this journey... Um, it's something that, you know, I, I want to be proud of. Like, I don't want it to look like, I don't want to hide anything from you. And I don't want to hide it from myself either. So, okay, we're now at like 12 and a half minutes. So I'm going to wrap this video up. Again, I apologize for it being so late. Um, so, I'm sorry, so long. But, um, I just felt like I needed to be authentic and share the truth with you guys. All right, I'll catch up with you soon. Bye. could beg him what to you that's why it's called a moment of truth yeah i get it if you need